Today I want to give you three really simple steps that you can take to gain control of your wardrobe. And I think this is a really great time to be doing this. Not only are we spending lots and lots of time indoors, so it's really nice to be able to just organize and you know cleanse the space around us. But you know, when you clean your, your closet, you're also really cleaning your mindset because you know, we can harbor so many thoughts and emotions and feelings in those clothes. So it's really a great activity um, for self-reflection. Um, and at the end of it, you know, you're really gonna feel in a position where you know, you've got a wardrobe that is actually serving you and working for you. So this doesn't need to take a lot of time, just put aside a couple of hours. So first things first, what you wanna do is you wanna take all your clothes out of the wardrobe and you wanna organize those into three piles. Now the three piles that you're going to organize them into are first one, items that you don't wear or you don't like. Second pile is items that you think are more or less are okay. And the next pile is items that you really like or that you love. Now I find just by organizing your clothes initially in that way, it starts to draw your attention and your consciousness to what are the sorts of garments that you enjoy wearing and what are you getting use out of versus what is just sitting there in your wardrobe not being worn. And can you sort of start to see any patterns emerging. Once you've got your clothes all organized in that way, then it's time for step two, and that is deciding what gets to stay and what gets to go. So with the items that uh, go, you, you, know, you might give those to a friend, sell them or donate them. And the items uh, obviously that get to stay. So there's a really easy way I find to make the distinction between what gets to stay and what gets to go. And that is asking yourself one really, really basic question. That question is, does this item make me look and feel great wearing it? I find that, you know, asking that really weeds out anything that doesn't align with how I want to present myself, how I feel comfortable, clothes that don't align with my personality, things that typically aren't flattering for me. So what you want to do is you want to ask yourself that question and rinse and repeat it for every single item. Once you've decided what does make the cut and what actually deserves a space in your wardrobe, then it's time for step three, which is all about organizing, which is my favorite part. So the easiest way to organize your wardrobe in the way that I favor is by category and then by color. So it you know makes it look very nice, but it also uh, makes it very easy to find everything. And you really want to start to think of your wardrobe as your very own boutique, as your own shop and that it's filled with items that serve you that you enjoy wearing and that you know you're opening that every morning and you've got control of it and you're really enjoying everything that you've got there